Hello and welcome back to Database Management Systems. And I'm going to continue in this uh, video with SQL that I started in the previous video. And this was the table that we used in the previous video. This is the table. Uh, it contains two columns, item and price and now I'm going to continue to uh, use this same table and show you some more DDL and DML queries. So the first one that we're going to see uh, here is the alter table query. Let me just show you the schema of my table. My table looks like this. Item is a variable character 25, price is a number 5,2. Now, like I said, 5 comma 2 means before decimal uh, there can be 3 and after decimal there are 2. But suppose I want to insert something into my table. So insert into restaurant values and I want to insert another item. Let's call it some type of a combo for which um, the price is 1000. And now let's put a semicolon. It will give you an error and it says the error is value larger than specified precision allowed for this column. The reason for this uh, error is, um, is that the price uh, column is having a data type number 5,2. So before decimal, maximum uh, three digits are allowed, but I'm trying to insert four. So it is that is why there's an error. Uh, so, at this point, I would have to change the schema of my table in order to uh, in order to be able to fit this value. So, to change the schema, schema in the sense I just want to change the size of this uh, column and maybe increase it so that I can include more values. To do that, you need to write the query alter table. And then you will write the name of the table, which is restaurant. Alter table restaurant. And then you will write down modify. And after doing modify in bracket, you will mention uh, what you want to modify. So I want to modify uh, the price. So I'll mention price. And next to it, I'll type its new data type. Data type is same, but the new uh, size. So let's say this time I want to make the size 7 comma 2. And then I can close the bracket and semicolon to run the query. And it says table altered. Let us take a look at the schema of the table now. You can see here that number is 7 comma 2 here. So the size has actually changed. And now if I try to insert the same values I inserted earlier, so let me get that query by pressing up arrow key. I'm trying to insert the same thing and this time it works. We can also check out whether it actually got inserted or not by typing select star from restaurant. And you can see right here it is inserted. So this is how the alter table query uh, works in uh, in, in SQL, but now I'm going to show you a different version of alter table query where you want to add a new column. So right now I only have the columns item and price in my table, but I want to add another column, um, say quantity in my table. So in this case, you need to write down something like this, alter table, and now you will write name of the table as just like before and then you'll write add instead of modify and after writing add you'll just type the name of the column that you want to add um, i want to add quantity so quantity and this time i want to give it a number three size so this is it and then i'll put a semicolon and hit enter and once again it says table altered now, when you check your table's schema, 
you'll be able to see this uh, extra column added quantity number three. If you take a look at the values inside the table by writing select star from restaurant, you'll be able to see all the values present in the table and this extra uh, column that is added. But you can see that this column is practically null. It does not have any values inside. And this is because we created it just now. It's not going to magically fetch values inside. So it's always better to decide what your schema would look like beforehand in order to uh, add a column afterwards. Because the problem here is now when I insert a new row, one thing you cannot start inserting into quantity directly. I, I've seen some people do this way, insert into restaurant and then just writing here quantity and then typing values and just inserting the value directly thinking that that's going to start inserting from the first row when you run it it does say one row created but when you check what is there in the table you'll notice that it's not actually added with pasta it is added in the new line right here it's added in a new row because it's the table's always going to insert from the next row. It's not going to insert from the first row just because you added a new column. So that's why if you want to change these things, you'd have to type some other query in order to add a quantity here. And of course, you're going to learn that query, which is the update query later on. But uh, that's that that's me. That means you would have to write a query for each and every uh, row. And that's not very efficient. That's why I said that you should be very uh, careful about the schema and decide beforehand what kinds of things you require instead of deciding it afterward. So here, this is the quantity um, uh, column added. And now I'm going to show you the update query, like I said. So my table contains all these uh, all these rows and let's say that um, I want to change the I want to increase the prices of everything wherever the prices are there wherever the prices are below 1000 I want to increase the price by say 50 rupees everywhere but not where it is 1000 because that's already very costly so I just want to increase the prices everywhere where uh, the price is less than 1000 so in that case, I can write the update query in this manner. I'll write down update name of the table and then write the keyword set. After set, you will mention the column that you want to update. So I want to update the column here that is uh, price. So I'll write down price equal to this is where you will mention the new price. Now the new price is nothing but 50 added to the price. So 50 is added to the price. Now I don't want this to be done everywhere. If I just finish the query here, this will add 50 everywhere. But I want this added only where the price is less than 1000. So here you can write your where statement and say where price is less than 1000 and put a semicolon and run and here it says four rows are updated because there are four values with prices um, less than 1000 let's take a look at the table you can see uh, in the table everywhere price is updated uh, here it is updated, here it's updated, everywhere it's updated, except this 1000 combo that we had. So that's how you can use the update query. The next query that I'm going to talk about is the delete query that allows you to delete some rows from your table. So let's say that I don't really like this row where you know the item and price are null. When you can't see anything, that means it's a null value. So I don't like these uh, this row and I want to remove it, then I'm going to write a delete query 
delete from restaurant and here you'll mention the condition for deletion which rows do you want to delete so i want to delete the rows where item is null so whenever you want to write null you never write item equal to null you have to write item is null and you write null in words it's in in words as a string and then press a semicolon and it will say one row deleted let's take a look at the table you can see that that extra row which was there is gone so you can mention whatever condition you like in this position not necessarily where item is null you can write where item equal to rice then it will delete the row containing rice or you can write where rice is um, greater than um, 400 then it's going to delete the combo so it depends on what your need is based on that you are going to delete from the table so that's the delete query now the next query that i'm going to show you is the create table as select query now let's say that i want to create another table for another restaurant that also i own and uh, what i don't want to you know create everything from scratch i know that my restaurant previous one already has this type of a table so i just want to copy from there then i can do it like this i can name i can write create table and give a name to the table and let's say that i just want to name it uh, restaurant 2 because if you give the same name you're going to get an error uh, in sql table names are all unique so create table restaurant 2 now after this i'm going to write as select star from restaurant so what this does is whatever table i already have in a restaurant is going to be copied into restaurant 2 and i don't have to worry about you know creating the schema and inserting values into it because they will already be there so once it says table created you can check it out so i'm going to check the schema by writing the describe restaurant 2 and you can see it has the same schema as the other table as the restaurant table and let's see what values are inside so select star from restaurant 2 and you can see it also contains all the values that you wanted from that uh, original table now this is how you can create a table from an existing table that way you don't have to worry about inserting data into it or you don't have to worry about even uh, creating the schema you know the data types and column names and all so that's the create table as select query which is another data definition language query and now we are going to see a query that allows you to delete all the data from your table so let's say that uh, in restaurant 2 I don't really uh, want all this data. I, I want only the schema, I want the design, I want the columns and data types, but I don't want the data. Then I can remove the data by writing truncate table restaurant two. And it will say table truncated. So this means all the data from the table is now gone and if i try to view it by writing select star from restaurant 2 you'll notice it says no rows selected because there are no rows present now there's another thing that you can do which is to remove the um, table itself so right now the table restaurant 2 still exists and i can insert data into it if i like there's no data but i can insert data but if I want this table itself to be gone from my system, then I can write down drop table restaurant two. And when it says drop table, you can 
try to select data from it again. And you will see that it says table or view does not exist. This is because you have dropped the table and the table is permanently deleted from your system. So this is how you can perform data definition language queries and uh, data ma uh, manipulation language queries in SQL. So I hope you understood everything for these two and I'll bring you more SQL queries in the next video. So see you there and thank you for watching.